Hello there beautiful people, I hope you're doing well and welcome back again to On How channel. For people that don't know, my name is Anas, I'm working for you. So if you have any questions or video requests, make sure to drop on below in a comment I will be happy to make a video for you. And for people that do know, welcome back and please be a witness for that for over 200 now videos about Shopify customization because they were mostly requested by you guys, I mean subscribers and some people not even subscribers but I'm fine with that, I still make the video for them. Just a like button that's all I'm asking or actually if you are interested in Shopify customization, you want to learn how to do anything yourself without having to hire a developer, why not subscribe to the channel, man? I don't have anything to sell. I don't sell any courses, never will. I don't have any paid memberships on the channel. So everything I do create, I post it completely free on the channel. It's a win-win situation, but I'll let you decide and I respect your decision. Just a like button if this video helped you out. If it didn't, just drop me a comment. I will be happy to provide you the information you need in order to do the thing you're trying to do or even make an update for you. And here I am again back with another requested video because this is actually was a request and I did provide the code in order to do the thing he's trying to do but the questions keep repeating and this is will keep repeating as well because I know many people have this problem because uh, the title, product title I mean on the mobile it's different based on how many words in the title. If the title is has many words on the mobile it's gonna take the whole page so you have to resize it to make it small but if you have like three words on the title it's gonna look small so you have to make it bigger only on the mobile that's exactly what I'm about to show you in this video which is how to resize the product title on the product page for the mobile only on your Shopify store so on the desktop it will be the same as the regular but when you switch to the mobile it will be the exactly the size you set it as. Without any more talking, let's just jump to it. As you can see, this is Shopify dashboard. They have hit down team, which is the one I do demonstrations on. So in every video, I do demonstration on down team because it's the most requested one, also is the most used one. I mean demonstration in the video, the one you're watching now. But if I scroll down in here, I have every other free, the most used Shopify team, which is refer spotlight test sense and trade. And if you are wondering why is that, because I do actually try the tricks behind the scenes on all of these teams. I don't do that in the video, so I don't bore people because it's like six or seven teams in here. I only do demonstration on down team, but behind the scenes, before I record this video you're watching right now, I did try the codes on all of these teams. So I'd make sure even if you're not using down team, using one of these should work for you just fine. And I just have to say this in the beginning because you're gonna see me doing it on down team and you might be thinking, oh, it's not working for the others. No, it is. So here is your peace of mind and without the way, let's just get to it and show you how to resize this one. And by the way, this is the Shopify store where I do all the tricks. So if you saw anything in the Shopify store, yeah, you think it looks good, you want to implement it in your store as well, then just check out the channel because once once it's here, that means it's already done in one of my previous videos because I don't remove the change I don't remove the changes from the Shopify store. I keep them. So let me access this product. And yeah, I just posted a video about the shaking effect on the add to cart and buy now button. Yeah, it's completely free. Check out the channel again for the million time, man. <laughs> okay, okay, I I'll quit now. So this is what I'm talking about. As you can see, this is the title and it has like three words. So let me switch to the mobile. Let me pick uh, iPhone 14 Pro Max from here. Ah, uh, it looks very small as you can see. So uh, it's better if I can resize it to make it bigger. It takes the whole page in here. I mean the width, the width of the page. So in the mobile, it looks really small. Uh, it doesn't look that great. So we want to resize the title for the product only for the mobile. If the customer access it for the desktop, it's going to be the same as the default. But on the mobile, it's going to be the exact size as we set it as. And we will keep this page open as always. We'll do the trick, come back and see it in action. So get back to Shopify dashboard. If you are already in Shopify dashboard, click on online store teams and click on the three dots on left of customize, then click on edit code. It will take you to the code editor for your Shopify team. And in here, we need to find the specific file. Instead of looking at the folders, you might get dizzy. Use the search bar at the top left corner. And again, I have to repeat this for the million times. It's gonna be either base.css or style.css or team.css and some rare custom made teams gonna be custom.css. But it's either base or style or team. I know here it's base. Most of the teams now use base.css. So type in base and you will see base.css. Click on it. Bunch of code will show up. 
After that, scroll all the way down. Let me drag this because it's huge fine. Here we go. And in here, we need to create some space to paste in our code. Simply click front of the last thing, the last line in here, which is in my case is closing bracket, click front of it, then hit enter on your keyboard. Here we go. We have a completely new line where we're going to paste our code. And where are you going to get that code from? As always, from the description box. Scroll down the description box and you will see a link named as code. Click on it and it will take you to this beautiful page with this beautiful code as you can see. So this code will do the trick for us and this code is completely free again. No share please, no pay please, nothing like that. So this code will do the trick for only mobile. Select the whole code including, uh, including the closing bracket. Right click, copy and you can see here it says font size. 45, you already know what font size, I don't have to translate that man, once you're watching the video, that means you understand English, you know what font size is, okay, <laughs> so <laughs> select the whole code, right click, copy, get back in here, paste it in the space with the create, click on the save button, wait for a couple of seconds, it save it, we'll get back to product page, reload the page, and then as you can see, it's much bigger now, so I guess you know what to do, play around with the number, like 45 in here until you get the exact size you want. And as I said, this is only for the mobile. If I switch to the desktop, boom, back to the regular size. And that's how you resize the product title only on the mobile for your Shopify store. And if you have any questions, make sure to drop them below. But for now, I think my job it is done. So thanks for watching. Catch you on the next one.